very special coffee from Gesha Village Estate, Ethiopia. A fire by helped start and we're going to roast this coffee in this wonderful Gieson W6A. We have um, four kilos of this Gesha Village. Let me show you what settings I'm going to uh, use here on the control pedal. Um, we're doing, going to do a heat soak and I will explain that in a second. Basically, we're going to allow the air temperature to get down to uh, 300 degrees and then we will start applying heat upon charging the beans. Um, roasting with a 120 PA, 55 cycles on the, or hertz on the drum revolutions. And I'm going to start my timer. Um, and we're rolling with the timer. And now I'm going to keep my burner off and I'm going to go. We just started the roast. I will um, show you here on the control panel the settings we're using. We're doing a heat soak, meaning I have the burner off, I preheat it the roaster for more than half an hour and I'm now allowing the beans to get in use in the drum and you can see the rate of rise is still negative. Air temperature is 186, beam temperature 143. As soon as the rate of rise gets to zero and that's the point where the beans start uh, picking up heat. And now I'm going to set the burner to 80%. I'm roasting 4 kilos um, and that's about 65% uh, of the capacity of the machine. This 80% heat is really also meant to now, after the heat soak, to um, yeah, get a vigorous start of the roasting going. Now let's look at the um, beans. This is how the beans look now. I get like a fresh, freshly cut grass smell. We're now at a high rate of rice. Of uh, almost 19 degrees, so this is 19 degrees for 30 seconds. The rate of rise is kind of the speedometer of the roaster. This tells us how fast we're moving uh, from the point where we are now to the uh, first track and on. So this means every minute we're gaining more than uh, 30 degrees. Which means, at this stage, we would be uh, roasting, if we would continue for five minutes in this space, we would be close to the end point of the road. We would be close to the 390 degrees. And I did not calculate in that, that while the beans continue to roast, they absorb more heat, which also means that they start to lose their uh, kind of resistance. They're, they're losing mass, which also means the roast would accelerate if I would not decrease my burner uh, setting at this stage. At 280 degrees, which is the early beginning of the Niyar reactions, that's where we will start reducing the um, burner setting. Uh, just to show you, I still have my PA at 120. The fan uh, runs at 28% to facilitate this, and we're running at 55 hertz drum revolutions. And we're getting close to the point where we will reduce the burn setting. I'll stay there. I will show you here the in color. So this is a typical color for the start of the Maillard reactions. 
And now, or the Mayav reactions have already started. I can smell this because I smell this fresh hay aroma. I'm now going to reduce my burner setting. Sixty percent. And that will have a slight that will cause a slight decrease in the rate of rise. Um, so now calculating that the first crack starts somewhere around 375 to 380 um, with this batch that gives us at this rate of rise about three to four minutes, which is kind of where I had hoped the um, profile to be in, start of this, in terms of the start of the first crack. So at this stage, I'm going to look at um, increasing my airflow by increasing the PA from 120 to 140. Now I'm really smelling um, the intensely dried hay. This is where caramelization of sugars is really in full swing. And so let's see, let's make another reduction in the burner. Uh, we are now getting within about one minute of the first crack. I'm reducing the burner now to 25%. The rate of rise should come down now. My goal is to bring the rate of rise below 10. And now in terms of the aroma, I do get like a sugar cane smell, like a cantaloupe sugar cane smell. We you now are at 375 degrees, 377 degrees, approaching gradually the first crack. We still have a uh, relatively high rate of rise. Let's bring it down. Uh, reducing the burn at the 10%. percent first crack is starting, I believe. At that point of the first crack, you always see a little swing in the rate of rise. Let's look at the color over here. You can hear the first crack now. Bring the burner setting to the minimum of 1% to really get the rate of rise to come down. Maybe turn the burner off at this stage. I'm going to start my cooler steerer arm. So now the beans are really roasting in the radiant heat or in the heat that they produce themselves. Uh, Oh, I don't know, at 3.99, I'm going to call it a roast. Uh, we had a roast of 11 minutes and 10 seconds. So overall, what did we do? We did a heat soak. We preheated the machine for half an hour to around 375, 380, then I turned the burners off, then um, loaded the beans at the moment that the air temperature was at 300, and then at that point I waited for the beans to start absorbing heat, the rate of rise started to become positive, and at that point I went into heat mode, 80% burner at the apex of the uh, AR reactions down to 60%, and then I brought it gradually down from 60 to 30 to 25 to 
15 and then through 1%. So while the bean temperature was gradually climbing, I was gradually bringing the heat supply back. A control profile, um, and I'm very curious to taste this uh, end result tomorrow and later on. Cheers.